Losing in the Super Bowl is honestly never easy, but losing to the team that you used to coach is always difficult. And then losing by that number of points is difficult. Our offense was sputtering. We were just not good. And look, this offseason, you guys are talking about, do we trade or keep Dwayne Haskins? Do we trade or keep Ashley Lucas? What do we do with our defense? So many decisions. Got to make them right now. And as a huge reminder to you guys, I'm running a big contest. If you guys can take us from 200,000 subs, which we're at right now, to 300,000, by June 11th, I will be giving away $500 to two people. That's right, two people, $500, do the math, $1,000 total of my own money, two of you. But we got to hit 300,000 subs by June 11th of this year. Can we do it? Well, you can help. Now, looking at the draft, some of you guys might be saying, well, just draft a quarterback if you don't like Haskins and put him behind him. As you can tell, the number one projected quarterback is apparently not very good. We go down here to the number five projected player, also a quarterback. Not very good. This guy's interesting, Cameron Fry. We haven't really seen his entire scouting report yet, but he seems like he could be okay. He's got a decent 40-yard dash, but he's not very fast overall. He's got a solid bench press. He probably has a really strong arm, but... He's not really exceptional in any category right now. And if we go down the list of the quarterbacks, I mean, none of these guys really stand out a ton. I mean, this guy is mostly top 10, but he has no real star by his name. The one guy that I've actually looked at is AJ Martinez. Uh, I think this dude is going to be a sleeper. They haven't projected as a third rounder right now. He's the 10th overall quarterback listed on the board. So maybe we take him early and try him out. The dude's only six feet tall. It's like an inch or two away from being Doug Flutie. He's the fastest 40 yard dash, high verge or second verge jump, first broad jump, second three cone, first 20 yard shuttle, the ninth in bench press reps. It's only 11. He's a little dude, so he probably doesn't have a strong arm, but I think he might be worth taking a gamble on. We'll see how it plays out. At running back, there's actually probably a whole lot of talent. This is probably one of the deepest positions in the entire draft. Now, I don't really want a power back, but you see Quentin Lawrence is up here. Uh, this guy's got decent stuff. He's got a pretty high 40 yard dash and he's got a power back status. So he's probably kind of a, a late Derrick Henry kind of beast there in the first round. Uh, AJ Stanley, again, solid numbers there. Uh, Jalen Powell, not that great for numbers. Uh, Tyree Daniels, I didn't really look at him. He's got some things that are pretty good. He seems to be really fast, but probably nothing outside of that. A guy that I did find though, Samori Gray, Actually, I take it back. He's not very good. Uh, where was that? Nigel Lane. Maybe this is the guy I was looking at. I take it back. Also not very good. You know what? I take everything back. What about this guy? Kind of slow. Kind of strong. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really loving any of these running backs more than I look at them. They're in trouble. So the Pittsburgh Steelers were really bad, and they have the second overall pick in this upcoming draft. Now, Haskins is a huge cap space, and I tried to do another trade with him a second ago with didn't even work i thought it would have been good but it was not even close so second overall pick or third round pick for haskins see how close we are dear lord we're in a whole lot of trouble now we do have a couple of second round draft picks and because that trade didn't work the first time we're gonna put haskins second round draft pick our backup left tackle who's not even really playing right now again for their second pick and their third round pick however they will be over the salary cap so i've got to find somebody who makes very little money and quick so we're gonna just go down here and say i mean can we sort I don't want to view Juju. I'm going to go literally all the way down to the bottom. Actually, can we, do they have a fullback on the roster? Let me take your fullback. He doesn't make enough money. So we found a running back that makes literally exactly the amount of money that we make. He's really trash. This should almost work. Are you kidding me? So to make this trade work, we swapped out our second round pick for an earlier second round pick that we have, and that made it work. So Haskins out of here. Our backup left tackle out of here. Second round pick gone. The second overall pick third round pick and a running back that will cut at some point in the future but we're not done actually for now we're gonna be done with the trades but i did want to point out that quan alexander is now a member of our team which is great news not a lot of people in free agency so we're gonna skip free agency head to the draft make a couple of moves there see how our team looks and then trade if we need to so our general manager does hit us up before the draft and says look we have a fifth year option coming up for aaron stokes do a contract he thinks that he doesn't deserve one but i think he's a long-term fit for us so aaron stokes will offer him a fifth year option or we'll pick that up and we're keeping that dude in the team to give you guys a look at the free agency signings fletcher cox goes to the vikings travis frederick who's probably on his last contract or soon to be last contract is going to kansas city uh hunter henry goes to the jets jonathan allen he lost him goes to arizona uh lyle cheeks what a last name goes to the detroit lions and you can see a couple of other big signings but not really a ton of big names out there to be overall. However, D.D. Westbrook going over there to Carolina, Cam Newton going back to Carolina. 
That'll be interesting in his final season or two, what he can ultimately do with that roster. So the Patriots have the first overall pick. He took DK Swinney, a defensive tackle out of Louisville. He's a 67 overall. I just got to say, I don't have to do a lot. I just got to draft better than that. And that's going to be easy. So at the top of the board, there's a couple of different players that are essentially up here. Names Brandon, seems to be a bust. Kendrick Evans. I know a lot of you guys are going to ream me over that one receiver we didn't draft a couple years ago, but this guy's not nearly as talented. And again, I am stacked at receiver. I don't need a receiver. Okay. Uh, a lot of these guys are pretty solid or decent. I think I'm pretty good at corner too. One position we're pretty weak at, even though all of our stuff says we need everything right now. Uh, Sean Davis, this guy, four for 40 yard dash. Second for vert jump, first for broad jump. You can see it all down the board. He is top four in every single category. I'd be crazy to not draft this guy. He has got to be a top five pure talent in this draft that has literally no quarterback. So Sean Davis, I'm not mad. 80 overall, ranked number two in true value, and I drafted him at two. It's a W in my book. If you look at his stats really quick, 86 speed, 89 tackle, 83 block shed, 82 hit power, pursuit, accelerate. All these are good. The cover style linebacker, which fits me pretty well. Uh, no power moves. Finesse moves are kind of trash. Agility is okay. Jumping, not great. Injury solid. I, I think this is a good draft pick overall. Let me know in the comments down below. Type his name out. Give me an overall rating. This is a W. This is an L. Give me a 1 through 10. I don't, however you want to do it. Letter grade, however. I want to know what you think. I think this is a W. Now, towards the end of the first round, there aren't a lot of great players in this position. And I don't want to reach because I have a pick literally two picks from here and I have an idea of who I want to take but before we get to that a couple of offers came up uh overall for the draft pick so a second and third and a fourth rounder uh second and a four a three a second uh and a seven I think the big thing for me is I want to make sure we get high draft picks in the following year's draft I don't really care as much about this year's draft there's a second rounder next year and a fourth rounder this year from the Packers a second rounder from the Jets and a third rounder from the Jets and a seventh rounder I think that's going to be Ultimately, the one we take, what is that? 52, 84, 51, 83. Yeah, we're going here. New York Jets taking this draft pick. That's going to be good. I'm worried about next year's draft. Not as much this year because it's kind of duty. So being back on the board here in the late first round, I know it's all about picking value, getting the best player available. And if you look at the top of this draft board right now, there's not a lot to love. Quinn Lawrence, don't really love what he's got. 40-yard dash is good, yes, but the rest of his stuff is absolute trash. The running back, though, that I skipped over earlier that I actually found later on is Tyree Daniels. Look at this guy. He's good in speed. I think we actually looked at him. Never mind. This guy's actually not bad, though. I compared him to AJ Stanley. This is tough. AJ Stanley's top 10 in a lot of things, but his three cone and his shuttle being bad means that he probably has no agility and he's a power back. I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm going to go early on a guy that's 5'8", 185 pounds. This may not be good. I may regret it, but I believe in him, okay? This is the guy we're drafting. Believe! You know what? He's ranked 24th. I got him at 31. This is literally one of the worst drafts of all time, but we're making the best of it. 94 speed, 91 acceleration. He already has possession, catches a treat. 93 agility. Juke moves not bad. It's an 83. Spin moves an 80. 85 elusiveness. There's something to work with here. You know, a guy that's agile, a guy that can make some moves, work on his break tackle. He's wearing 23 like the GOAT LeBron James. This is a low-key W. In the second round, we have a late pick in the second round. We had to scroll pretty far. We found a guy in the third round that looks pretty solid. A minus lead block, B uh, for run block finesse and pass block finesse. He's top five in everything but bench press, so his strength is low-key trash. But he is out of the state of Ohio in Akron, so there's something to look for. Dear God, he's not very good. He's a 69 overall. Hashtag nice. Rank 79, we got him at 58. Let's see, his strength is okay. God, this is a project. Okay. You know what? We needed a center. This is not necessarily the guy that we needed, however. We are in the sixth round. I have traded everything. I've traded all the picks. They're literal trash. This draft is so bad. I found a kicker. I believe in him. 79 overall. This draft is so bad. And a kicker was ranked number seven in true talent. Why? Why is Ed Sheeran flexing like that? Buddy, stop it. The heck? If you care about his ratings, I guess kickers are people too. 96 kick power. Kick accuracy, though, is real trash at a 73. So that makes me nervous. He's got 72 speed. Maybe we'll 
not run with him at all you know what i don't care whatever this is a w okay this in this draft this is a w we're here in round number seven it's pick 31 we're almost mr irrelevant there's one more pick literally after us i've also realized that i did not draft a quarterback which is something that i meant to do there's only one guy in the undrafted pool that's actually has any talent it's this guy right here he's got decent strength he's pretty fast pretty tall went to alabama there's that and dean rogers who we're not going to draft so I, he's probably gonna be like a 60 something i would imagine if he's a 70 something it'll be a plus but the 64 is tough you know 86 throw power 80 deep accuracy his deep accuracy is actually really good actually you know his accuracy is good 80 deep accuracy 79 medium 74 short his awareness is horrible so on the run 82 play action 70 good lord no under pressure is an 81 break sack is a 76 this guy is not bad 81 for speed 82 for acceleration 85 agility 91 injury 96 stamina 80 toughness he has literally no spin or juke move or trucking or stiff arm his elusiveness is trash but honestly evan pool there's some mild potential for him to be a backup on our team so to recap our draft we have sean davis big w we have tyree daniels solid w aaron mitchell we'll talk about it later robert hayes the kicker's the second best player we drafted. That's all I gotta say about that one. And then Evan Poole. Who knows is he's faster than our kicker? That's about all I gotta say about that one. Now, as you guys know, there is not a serviceable quarterback on our entire roster. Even Evan Poole, no. Andy Netherland, get up out of here. You guys saw what he did last year. Not very good. But Saints have James Hatch, who we probably can't pry away from them. However, give a guy two years younger, Nevin Wynn. Check his card, it's looking pretty nice. He's got a star development trait, so we can already get that kind of moving already, which is great. His ratings though, this is where I'm excited. 95 throw power, deep accuracy, super trash. I will be focusing solely on that if we can go ahead and acquire it, but the rest of his stuff is really good. 84 medium accuracy, 88 short accuracy. Uh, his awareness is trash, but again, there's so much potential here. Uh, 94 throw on run, play action's rough, throw under pressure's rough, 86 break sack, 89 speed, we run in the option 86 acceleration 82 agility 84 carrying he's not damian telford he's a little bit of a project but juke move spin move and looseness are okay toughness we got to work on that okay we'll toughen him up somehow but potential i'm gonna try to trade for this guy so to make a trade work for nevin win we had two second rounders this year we got rid of one of those and we had four third rounders that's why we did all those trades in the draft we used two of those four third rounders and a second rounder it's a lot to give up for him but we need a quarterback we don't have one i need somebody who can move around a little bit and i'm feeling like we can mold this guy into being a champion you also have a big hole and left outside linebacker carl nassib is starting there right now which is not good so cody barton he's six foot five he's got some pretty decent attributes out there pretty fast so we're gonna sign him put him on the team because our defense needs all the help in the world in the last position we're going to sign, I think, is Sheldon Richardson. We need some help on the defensive tackle side, so see what we can do there. So looking at our team, there's a lot of new pieces. There's a lot of familiar pieces. Offensive line is actually pretty okay. Our lowest guy is a 75 overall, which, again, I'm not mad at that. That is an improvement over years past. We have DeAndre Bryant, still a tight end, who is the stud, and we'll get a lot of catches this year, especially from our new quarterback. Nevin Wynn, speaking of new quarterback, he's starting there for us. Bryce Love will be at fullback. We'll move him around a little bit. Ashley Lucas. Some of you guys feel a certain way about him. We'll keep him as a starter for right now. He's a superstar X Factor. Gotta see what he can do. But if we hit like week six and he's still trash, then we're getting him up out of here. But for now, we'll keep him. Mario Lindley, Deron Sampson, McCole Hardman, Terry McLaurin. A lot of you guys want McLaurin to play more. I'm gonna find ways to get him in and substitute him more in different packages. We'll make sure we play him more than we did last season. On defense, our prize gem right now is Sean Davis, the guy that we just drafted. Uh, we also have Sean Davis at our uh, safety spot at free safety. Shaquille Vincent, we'll figure him out. Cody Barden, newly on free agency. Mr. Crockett at strong safety. Uh, down here, we have Aaron Stokes. We have, I think, Leslie Rudd, Deron Payne, Sheldon Richardson. Vic Beasley Jr. at left end is not ideal. And then Mr. Williams out here on the outside. I so I tried to go through a couple of different trade options and get ourselves a left end, but it wasn't going to happen. With what we have right now, there's a solid base to work from. Will we have to make some trades during the season? Yeah, I mean, probably. 
leave me a comment down below tell me what you're sort of thinking overall what we should be moving do you like the pieces in certain areas better than others running back situation tell me what you think defense are we going to give up little points or a whole lot of points I'm curious what you guys think. Again, leave me a comment down below. There is potential, but you know what they say about potential. It's a waste of talent, and I don't want to get fired after this season. This is going to be 